thank you so much for joining the Stepping Stone session. It's been a while since actually I've done this work and mainly I've done it with a lot of young people and actually some people in their 70s and 80s. So it's lovely to be with people who are more my age, middle age, a bit younger, just to see how it could work with you guys. It all came about when we started thinking about energy, when I was, um, actually when I was first divorced actually, and my energy was very low, my mood was very low. I was maybe on the verge of, of depression actually. And I stumbled across this idea about our energy can really, really affect our mood and our behavior. And I was very curious. So I, I went researching and on the back of that, the children at Heathmount School helped me develop this little toolkit. So it's quite young language and, and hopefully you'll find it helpful. The real thing is about how does my energy, my physical, mental and emotional energy actually affect my mood? And do I actually want to change that energy into something else? Now, I think you in advance got this little slide and you may not feel like you want to say out loud how you're feeling. But in my case, I think today, I'm actually feeling physically quite tired. I don't probably think I got enough sleep this weekend, so I'm feeling quite sort of lethargic. Um, but mentally, I'm a little bit anxious because I'm running this session for the first time in a year or so. But emotionally, I'm feeling really happy because I, I'm excited that I'm doing this. And what I've found over the years is music is a very, very good therapy for me. So I love actually attaching music to each stone and say you are feeling really anxious or angry or upset about something. The, the, the idea is that your brain and your heart and body, it's all connected. It all needs to be in balance because we've got these pillars of health around sleep and food and hydration and moving our bodies and good relationships and social time. And it was trying to make it really break it right down. And it's, it is all about connecting, connecting with your, your own body, your own mind, your own well-being and others so it, it's kind of come full circle with COVID that it's really given us time to you know yes people are very anxious but it, it, it seems to be giving us a little bit of space to open them up maybe to to some kind of changes to make them feel a bit better and then a lot of it is about just the positive thinking that and we talk about positivity and it's so difficult isn't it because not everybody does feel positive but there's, there's lots of affirmations, lots of things that we can encourage people to do.